Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. The Alachua School District is the only one open and not allowing parents to opt their kids out of wearing a mask. The district is requiring a doctor's note instead. They are not allowed to be on campus if they will not follow our, our policy, and that's just how it is. Superintendent um, Dr. Carly Simon says only 25 medical exemptions have been submitted. 13 came from the same doctor. And we are looking into that. As for students who show up without a mask or a doctor's note. Then that's an absence. The governor's office in a statement called the policy, quote, detrimental to kids' academic, emotional, and social development. Great first day so far. The Capital County reversed course at the last minute and allowed parents to make the call on masks. We just strongly encourage all of our children uh, to wear masks while they're indoors. Though the governor did not directly make the threat, he does have the authority to remove Leon School Superintendent because it's an elected position. It was a key factor in the district's decision. I don't do anyone any good if I'm not in that seat anymore and the governor ends up appointing the next superintendent of Leon County Schools. In Alachua and Broward, removal from office isn't a concern as their superintendents are appointed. While not back to school yet, Broward is also going to require a doctor's note. I'm really proud of the decision that we made. School board member Sarah Leonardi says the district is preparing to sue over the state's opt-out mandate. It is our, our right in purview under the Florida Constitution to make these kinds of decisions. If a court rules differently, superintendent and school board member salaries are on the line, a risk Leonardi is willing to take. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.